Okay, so I got a project I want to do. Uh, this is not going to be fine furniture by any means. It's just going to be a uh, storage box, roll around storage box for these uh, John Deere suitcase weights. They're 42 pounds a piece, and I have seven of them. And uh, they're getting in the way. They're, I'm tired of dragging them around the shop. Uh, any place I drag them, they're in the way, and then I got to drag them somewhere else. So I went to Harbor Freight, and I bought this uh, furniture dolly. Um, it says it's rated at a thousand pounds capacity. Uh, I don't know if I buy that or not, but it should be uh, good enough to hold uh, 300 pounds worth of uh, suitcase weights. Um, I can't even imagine one of those dolly wheels being able to hold that uh, thousand pounds, but maybe. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to build a, a box. I'm going to bolt the box onto the top of the dolly. Um, I'm also going to take a piece of plywood and uh, where these weights have this slot here where they hang on the front of the bracket I'm going to put a piece of plywood in there and now by no means are the weights going to be on this plywood you know with any uh, weight what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, bring it up to where it's not quite touching the top and then basically that's just going to keep them from sliding around and tipping over. If they tip over, they, they won't go all the way over. Um, if I, you know, only have a, a, a few weights left in the box and I got three or four of them on the tractor or whatever. So there's not going to be any actual weight on them. It's just going to sort of keep them in line. So this uh, uh, half inch or so plywood fits right in there. The rest of it I'm going to make with scrap three-quarter inch plywood and uh, I'm just using scrap that I got laying around the shop. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do I found a piece of scrap plywood I'm going to put it in the middle of the uh, dolly here because you don't want all that weight just on those two pads there and a sag in the middle so I'm going to take this piece of scrap and it's just a little bit too wide to go three times and it's not wide enough just to go twice so I'm going to cut it down to three and a quarter inches and that will give me three sections and it should be long enough we'll find out Okay, so here's the setup. I've got my fence measured at three and a quarter inches. Um, I, I like to use this bench dog feather lock. Um, keeps everything aligned and it also has anti-kickback capabilities. And you want to use your, your uh, safety features on your table saw if possible. You know, sometimes you can't. If I was going to rip a, a narrow piece, um, you know, it might interfere. So, always use it when possible and wear your safety glasses, as Norm Abram would say.
Okay, I've uh, finished ripping at the table saw. Now I'm going to cut three pieces off of this, um, just a little under 12 inches long. Cut the next, use this one as the template for the next. And because I'm running out of space over here to hold it down, I'll flip it around. And that piece wasn't long enough after all, so I did have to rip another piece so I could get three. And that piece is over here. Doesn't have to be that accurate because it's just a roll around box that's going to sit on the floor. It's not fine furniture. Okay, here's my three pieces. And a little room for play. Like I said, this isn't fine furniture. All right, what I'll do is I'll just tack those down with uh, some brads. All right, first I'm going to put a little glue on here. Just for laughs. Tack it down with some brads. First I gotta hook the air hose up though, don't I?
Okay, so I've decided the dimensions of the box are going to be 19 inches long, about 11 inches or so wide, and 8 inches tall. That'll give me just enough room to where it won't be wedged in there. Uh, I'm going to give myself about an inch or so clearance on all sides. Make it about eight inches tall. That won't come over it, but that'll give me enough room to... Uh, <coughs> Look at that, the tape measure got stuck. Give me enough room to grab without uh, the edge getting in the way when I grab either side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rip some pieces off of this sheet of plywood. Now, I've got the uh, fence set for eight inches, which is how tall I want, but since I'm gonna rip this piece of plywood, that's eight inches. That is not a safe way to cut this plywood. There's too much weight on the left side and you have more possibility of it twisting and getting a kickback. So that's, that's not good. So I could measure from this end to eight inches, move the fence over and line it up with the blade and I could cut it from that direction, but then every time I make a cut, I've got to measure eight inches. And if you don't measure it exactly right, then it's not a, um, as accurate a cut as using the fence to make all three, um, all your cuts for, for all four sides. So what I'm gonna do is cut from this side and I'm gonna cut it like eight and a half inches. So give me a little bit of room and then when I'm all done, I'm going to trim it down to size using the fence on this side. And then your all, all four cuts will be identical. So every cut will be exactly eight inches. No, room, uh, no need to measure each cut.
doesn't look like I have a little binding going on there. Probably because the edges aren't, aren't exactly straight. Okay, now I can cut them all down to the correct size, which is 8 inches. got them all cut to the height that I want which is oops which is uh, eight inches so now I'm going to cut them to length which is 19 inches long Okay, so there's a couple of ways I could do that. Um, I could cut them on this uh, sliding miter saw, which is uh, got uh, got plenty of length here. I think I can don't remember exactly how far to cut, but I know where to cut eight inches. Or I can do it on the table saw here using either a miter gauge of course uh, you don't want to cut anything long on that unless you've got a fence for your miter gauge which I did make one or 
I can use this sled up here, which is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to use this sled. So this is one of those times where having the safety features on won't work. Can't use the sled with that, so take it off. Of course, it comes right off. No problem. And you can take the paws here off. And I guess you could leave the writing knife on, but I'm going to do it because you don't really need it for that. So this is an item that is a must in your wood shop. There's a sled. You can buy them ready made. I, I made this one. It's got a, in case you don't know, if you've never seen one, you got a, uh, a guide here on the bottom for the miter slot. And uh, you have to, uh, of course, you got to make this perfectly square for it to work. So, once you've uh, made this square, if you've never seen one, you uh, of course you got to have this laid down. Well, you can make cuts with it. The blade will come up through like that and you get a nice cut or you can bring it over on this slot and then make cuts on the edge you got a longer piece. Which is what I'm going to do since that's going to be a longer piece. First I'll need to square up all the edges of these boards. thing I'm going to do is square up the edges on these.
now we need to cut it to a length of 19 inches. Or at least two of them anyway, not all four, only two, two sides are 19. Um, need to measure one of these because what I'm going to do is because first we're going to make sure the edge of the blade is right on the mark so it's close to 19 inches if we can get it all right now I'm going to have to measure that again because what I'm going to do is make a backstop for the clamp. So I won't have to measure that again. So both boards will be cut identical. Okay. I cut this board, put it against the backstop. Cut that board, put the other board in there against the backstop. Both boards are exactly the same. No need to measure again, because when you, every time you measure, you're gonna be just a little bit off. You're not gonna be exact. So that's the secret to making uh, fine uh, woodworking projects is set your cuts so they're all the same you, you know sometimes you can stack them and then you know cut both pieces at once it, you know you can't get more identical than that I'm going to raise the blade just in here Did I say they were? Eleven inches. Let's see if this board here. See if I can use this one. Yeah, I can use that one. Let's see if I can use this one. I can use both of these. So 
think 11 inches. Reset my backstop. Check. Always double check. Measure twice, cut once. 